Hey, this is Chef Michael from the Thistles and Coos again. We today will be preparing the uh, dish or dinner that we had the first night in Edinburgh. We went to a really cool um, farmer's market and found some wonderful salmon. If you don't have wild caught where you are, you can certainly find some gorgeous, beautiful salmon. Anything with a uh, wonderful color, that's what you're looking for. Today what we'll be preparing or our ingredients are a about two pounds of nice salmon, cremini mushrooms, a uh, half a bag of multicolored baby potatoes, carrots if you have them, some asparagus, the onions that I've mentioned before, and some sliced lemons. Um, I've got to prepare and put in the potatoes and the carrots first thing because they require more time than everything else. I'm going to put a little bit of olive oil over the top of them, a little salt and pepper, and I'll put this in for probably 15 minutes, uh, maybe even 20, uh, before everything else goes in. So that's, a, that's our start. I'm prepping ingredients for the mixed grill that we had for dinner the first night in Edinburgh. This is a great big slab of onion, if you will, that we'll be roasting off, or broiling actually, with our salmon dish. The next step, we are going to take this pan, of course you use all your hot pads and anything you might need to use. Uh, we're taking the other ingredients, the asparagus, the salmon, the onions that are for roasting. the mushrooms. This is such a simple meal, easy to prepare. It has a few steps in it, but the, but as you're cooking, it makes it so much easier um, to, you, to keep everything in one little dish. I'm going to put these lemons uh, all over the salmon, and of course, I am going to season it up with a little bit of dried dill, and of course, if you need, if you have any Fresh dill, that's always going to help salmon. Salmon loves dill. Any seafood loves dill. I'm going to season this all up real nice. Oil it, oil it up with a little bit more olive oil. And we are going to bake this, of course, until the onions are done. I mean, excuse me, until the salmon is done. You are going to check the salmon by making sure it for, the, a fork goes through it fairly easy, just like that. And don't forget, one of the last things you'll do is separate the salmon from the skin. And you just separate it right there, and of course, under here, the salmon skin is still there. See? Now it's time to eat. <laughs> 